Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Blender uh, in a way similar to MMD where you can basically use anything you want in MMD and put it into Blender. So the first thing you want is Blender. Uh, you want to come down here and choose what version of Blender you want. So I have Windows, so I'll just leave it on default. And I hit this blue thing right here and it should ask you where you want it installed and everything. You can go ahead and hit yes to everything. Uh, it's basically uh, this Windows installer right here. And then next thing you want to do is I'll put this page in the description, but you want to go to this GitHub and make sure that you're looking at Blender MMD tools. Uh, you want to go down to code, this green option, and hit download as zip. And what this will do is give you a zip file for the Blender MMD tools you need. Should look like this right here, this Blender MMD tools dev test. And so now you have those two things. Uh, what you can do is go ahead and open up Blender. And if it's your first time installing Blender, it might look a tiny bit different. Uh, but you should be here for the most part. You can go ahead and click anywhere to get rid of that. And then uh, you want to go in over here and click on this arrow right here. And you should have a few of these options, not all of them, uh, because I have a few extra ones. But we should be looking for something with MMD and this MISC right here. Um, so if you don't have that, then all we need to do is go over here to edit, uh, come down to the preferences and make sure that you come down here to add-ons. And what we should have is MMD somewhere in this list. And if you don't see it, then you want to go to install and go to where you downloaded that zip file. So here is my Blender MMD tools zip file. What you wanna do is click on that and hit install. And now that you have that, you should be able to find it in this list. So if you do is go to MD, and this is probably won't be checked for you. Um, all you want to do is just check that. So as long as you just make sure this is checked, um, it, it should be good to go. Uh, so now you should most like it should appear over here. Um, then I think yeah, that's that's all for that part. You can go ahead and close out of that. So if you're not familiar with the uh, Blender, uh, I guess, controls, uh, middle mouse is kind of like paying the camera around. Uh, scrolling up and down is like zooming in and out. Um, you're not actually like moving the camera. It's, it's more like you're just zooming. Uh, well, okay, I guess it is moving out, but you'll realize sometimes that you can only kind of zoom in so far before you almost go nowhere. <laughs> so it's not very great for moving the camera around. Um, and then what you can do, if you don't have anything selected, is you can click on anything, you can press G, and you can just use your mouse to move things around. Then I'll hit escape to put it back where it was. And if you want, similar to MD, you can move things across just the axis if you want. So if I hit G again, I can move it. But if I hit X, so I'll hit G and then X, it'll only move across the X axis. I can do the same thing with G and then Y, and G and then Z. So it's pretty much the same thing that uh, MMD actually uses. You just can't see it in like the bottom right. So after we know these controls, what we can do is go ahead and I guess delete this cube if you want to import your own model. Um, importing the model is pretty simple. Uh, if you haven't done it before, I'll go over it. Um, I normally like to go to DeviantArt and you can just type in anything model download. And then what we can do is just find a model uh, scroll down here, uh, make sure that you follow these rules. <laughs> so this is by Sensei Tag on DeviantArt. Uh, you can go, normally they have a link 
Uh, normally it's right here for download, but that's actually a PNG. So sometimes it'll send you in a wild goose hunt. So sometimes you just have to kind of <laughs> find it a little bit. So right here is a model download link. If you see anything like a password or key, make sure to copy that because normally if they have a download key or password, you're going to need that to actually get the model. So we're going to use that key earlier. It's going to paste and now it should allow us to download the zip file for the model. Uh, we can also do the same thing for the stage. Uh, the stage, I'll go ahead and refresh it because sometimes if you stay on the page for too long, uh, it'll give you like a timed out error or something. Um, so yeah, this is by MMD 3D CG parts. So I'll, I'll put all these guys in the description. And so you can go ahead and do is just hit download and it'll give us the stage zip. So now you wanna come back to Blender. And in order to import these models, we need to unzip them. So what I'll do is go to downloads. Um, I already downloaded the stage twice, so I'll just delete one of them. Um, I'm going to find my model, and I'm going to find my stage. And I, I can highlight both of them, or you can click on one, hit control, and then click on the other. And then I'm going to right-click, use 7-zip, and extract the files. So this way, now Blender can actually see these files and import them. Um, so what I want to do for this project is make a file where I can store all of my assets in. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these, or just cut them, um, take them into my file, I'll name this test, and I want to put them in here. So that way everything for this project, all my models and assets are in one place. And then what I can do is go to MMD, that should have appeared over here. Go to Import, and we can go to where we saved our stuff. So we'll go, So you want to go into the folder we downloaded. You want to go to the PMX and Import. And the model should load in. Uh, if Blender crashes, uh, it ha it, Blender is known for crashing or just being super slow the first time it does it. So I would just try it again if it's not working the first time. Um, and so now, what we can do here, that our model is, our model is kind of gray right now. So what we can do is hold Z, and this wheel will appear. If we go to Material Preview, uh, it'll show us the colors of this model. So now our model has color. Um, if you don't like all this stuff in the way, what you can do is come over here to this MISC and uncheck the armature. So now you can just see the model in full. Um, if your model is really, really pink, then I would recommend turning off the tune texture and or the sphere texture. That normally fixes it, but this model seems to be working fine. So now we have our model. What we can do is go to import our stage. Uh, it's the same process, really. So you can you can use this to go back outside the folder, this arrow. And then we'll click on our stage and down at the stage PMD. It's it's it can be PMD, PMX, a few a few things. Okay, so like I was talking about, the, the stage is kind of pink. So what you can do is come down here to the mist thing. And we can uncheck tune texture, and our stuff isn't pink anymore. So what I like to do now, because we're pretty much done with setting everything up, um, what we can do is go to the, um, I guess make sure that, I don't know if it matters to have everything selected over here, but we can just go to this um, world icon, this world properties down here, and we can hit background. If it's not already on background, uh, what you can do is just click on this surface and you can actually scroll up or down by putting your mouse on the edge of the box. And you can select background. Um, I use this for like easy lighting. So now, 
to in order to see what we're rendering, we need to use the camera. And if we're using background, we don't really need the light. So I'll just click on that and hit delete. Uh, so now you can click on our camera either by using this box or clicking on the camera itself. Uh, same thing with the model. We can either click on our model or click on the name. And it'll do the same thing. Uh, just like how if you click the stage, you can click on the stage. So I'll click the camera. Um, I'll hit zero to see what the camera is seeing. And then I'm going to go come to view. And if I lock camera to view, then basically I can use uh, holding down the scroll wheel, I can pan around and holding shift and the scroll wheel, I can kind of drag the camera around. So I'll hold shift and move the camera this way and then I'll hold down the scroll wheel and move it to my model. Now you might have noticed this gray spot. That is because our camera actually can't see that far. So in order to change how far our camera can see, uh, what we want to do is have the camera selected and then come down here to this green kind of camera looking icon. And what we can do is go to clip start and end. Um, and this will be where our camera kind of the max distance it can see. So you can do is I can you can either click on it and change the number manually, or I like to just click and drag and kind of just move my mouse to the right. So as we increase, uh, we can see more. So that gray spot kind of goes away and we can actually see the stage. So now that it's far enough, um, what we can do is go up here to render and see what our scene looks like. So it, it looks okay. Um, importing things can kind of make some things a little weird, like this blackness right here on the plant. Uh, but if you want our lighting, like easy lighting, you can go to world properties, uh, make sure the background is on. And if it's too dark, like it was, we can increase the strength. So I'll put mine to five and we can come back up here to render. And as you can see, it's a, it's a little brighter. It, yeah, so it's really easy lighting. It it saves a lot of um, hassle, like moving the the light bulb around and where it points. Um, so I'll just put this to ten, make it a bit brighter. And so yeah, now we have our <laughs> render in MMD, but we're in Blender instead. So now, if you want to get out of the camera now, you can uncheck this and use a scroll wheel to kind of just force yourself out of it. Um, so I'll just hold shift, move my camera over here. Now if you want to make your own pose, instead of just importing by going to MMD import under the pose option um, and importing that way. Same with the motion right here. This stands for motion, this stands for model uh, or stages, and this stands for poses. Um, Camera motions also go under here, not just character motions. Um, so what we can do, if you want to make our own custom pose, is click on the armature. So you want to make sure that you don't have this hidden or anything. If your model, if you hit your armature, you want to make sure that this box is checked under misc. So make sure that we can see our armature, click on to that. And then we want to come up here to pose mode. Now, pose mode will show us all the bones, like how it would in MMD. Uh, so I'll hit shift and middle mouse to drag and see the rest of my model, because maybe I want to animate her feet um, or legs. Or maybe I want to have her posing with her, her arm up. So what I'll we'll do once I get into pose mode is click on a bone, and it'll highlight to blue. You can also select multiple, multiple bones by kind of clicking and dragging. Now keep in mind, if you're in pose mode, the only thing you can actually pose is what you clicked on when you entered pose mode. So because, so if let's say you had a second model here, um, if I click on this armature and hit pose mode, I can only pose this model. I can't pose the other model that I might have 
in the background. So what you can do now is you can still use G to kind of move things. Uh, and it'll mostly move things relative to the camera unless we hit like G and then Z. Then we can only move it across the Z axis. Same with G X across the X axis and G Y across the Y axis. Uh, we can also use R to rotate the bone. So if we hit R, it'll just rotate about the camera. So I like to just use a combination of both. It's really whatever just gets it done faster because this can take a while. So I guess we can just move her arm up a little bit. Uh, I'll use a scroll wheel to kind of get a better position so that I can rotate about the camera this way. So press R to rotate, move it this way. And then I'll click on her forearm so that I can bend it in front of her. And now she's kind of doing like a, a dab, I guess. Um, so that's that's good enough for now, I guess. <laughs> so I'll go back to object mode and I'll hit zero to snap back to the camera. I can go to view, camera to view, and I can kind of zoom in, hit shift scroll wheel to move it up, scroll wheel to pan around, and I oh don't know, maybe that's cool. I can go up here to render, and now she is doing it in said pose. So that's those are the main things: uh, lighting, importing, posing. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.